Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? I know something is up with you. You said I wasn't your boyfriend. Like, what a joke idea that is. Are you for real? Our bus gets totaled, we get lost in fog, and your headline is some dumbass label? You're admitting boyfriend is not a label that you use for me. So what the fuck am I then? We don't need a label, do we? Come on. So what exactly are we then? We're just having some fun, that's all. <laughs> I stuck up for you when Angela was digging into you after the crash. I don't know what to say to that. Maybe she is right about you. Let's just forget it. Or maybe you like older women more. You seem to fawn over everything she says. I'm really trying hard to like you, but you're not making it easy. <laughs> if you want me to take you seriously, then your shit needs to hold together a lot more than it has up till now. You okay? I'm absolutely fine. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, the show is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, sorry too? Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still alive. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here, not... Twenty years of Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. <clears throat> it's right there if you change your mind. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What are you doing in here alone? I'm sure you have a good reason to be here, right? Yeah, I got my reasons for being here. There a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone, but it's been dead for years. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. What is this guy's problem? 
There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. <clears throat> Am I intruding here? Not at all. I was about to take a look around anyway. Don't ask. <clears throat> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> Come on. At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Fuck. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. This place has some great history. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. You really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you found what you're looking for.
It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. I come to Creepy Central just to get a top up. What does that mean? feeling about this we'll figure it out the way this fog just appears it's not natural what the hell is this thing Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. I've heard more than enough, thank you. Are you the superstitious type? I never believed in this kind of thing. Doesn't seem like you can say the same. A lot of people still really believe in this kind of stuff. After tonight, I thought you might be joining them. Just because other people believe all sorts of garbage doesn't mean I'm about to. I don't agree at all, but we'll just have to leave it at that. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Can you two make an effort to keep up? Can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Fine. Don't believe me. You two. We need to stick close. What the hell? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Wait for us! What is that? Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Johnny. 
shame, sir. Um, Andrew? Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I'll see how much we are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. out here by the fire what I, I don't see any fire I saw them too are you okay how can you not have seen that I couldn't see anything through this impossible impenetrable fog well go ahead tell them what we saw a little girl appeared out of the fog and then just like that she was gone again what is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. I said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? She could have been malicious, I guess. <sighs> You're burning up. That girl do something to you? We should all keep an eye on Andrew. I'm okay. Pain's going away now. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. 
and some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. She sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. You hear that? What was that? It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're right. You see that? Some big ass animal. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? You need to stay calm and positive. Panicking won't help anyone, and I, for one, have no intention of spending any longer out here than is absolutely necessary. I'm right with you. Appreciate you checking in with me.
this have something to do with what we saw? <sighs> that would explain it. There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. Hey, you two! What the hell have you done to us? Hell? Calm down. Breathe. Strangers are not welcome here in Little Hope. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! Look, that's impossible. 
black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you, rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize. And most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never, ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Let out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? I guess someone should go with her. Really? I'd be okay on my own, but... Sure. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out. Which is what we all want, right? Yes, you're right. If the fog lets you through, and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Hold up. You hear that? <laughs> Shit. Here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. What the hell was that? Now what? You okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there, 
You think that was really supernatural? We really can't be sure what it is we've seen. Makes sense to me. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. What's happening now is nothing like what happened back then. Don't be so fast to dismiss what I'm telling you. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. Anyhow, there's no one here. You all done with poking around? Found this inside. What the hell are you doing with a gun? It's hidden under the floor. You should have left it there. Guns are dangerous. We're already in enough trouble. I'm keeping it. This is one crazy night we're having. I mean, who knows? We could need this. What we don't need is to get someone killed. I'll be careful. I promise. <sighs> Men and guns. Make sure the damn thing stays in your pants. I don't want to see it again. is this?
Professor? <gasps> Andrew here is Packy. What? A gun? Are you crazy? We don't know what's out there in the fog. Better to have the gun and not need it than need it and be defenseless. The likelihood of your getting shot goes up dramatically if you are carrying a weapon. Whatever. If the gun makes you feel safe, keep the damn thing. I really don't care anymore. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at ten paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Don't strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Piece of cake. You're up next. that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. No surprise that didn't sell. Who'd want Lance?
wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Hey, it was a collective decision. We'll find another way. <laughs>